Okay, here we are um, at the Brian Cologne get together for the delegation with Fred Harris. Hello, Fred. Um, we're from Democracy for New Mexico, and we're going to be the blog that represents the um, the delegation of, of New Mexico in Denver. Yeah. So, um, what what do you think about the uh, election so far? Well, I, it's been the most exciting I've seen. I uh, soon after uh, our own governor was out of the race, I immediately endorsed uh, uh, Barack Obama. Uh -huh. The defining issues of my adult life uh, in politics have been race and poverty, so I didn't have any doubt about who I'd support. My wife was for Hillary, uh -huh. uh, so we figured one or the other of us uh, ought to be uh, uh, chosen for Secretary of State. Uh -huh. um, so uh, tell us a little bit about what, what's your past? Well, I was in the... Uh, uh, I was a lawyer in Oklahoma for years, and then I was a uh, member of the Oklahoma State Senate, and then I was twice elected to the United States Senate from Oklahoma, and uh, I was a national chairman of the Democratic Party in, in 1969 and 70. Uh, we reformed, incidentally, we reformed the party. I appointed the commission headed by George McGovern to reform the, uh, the party and make it more democratic, which it it was not, uh -huh. and require affirmative action in regard to women and minorities, uh, which hadn't been the case in the past, and also uh, to outlaw uh, what are today called superdelegates, uh -huh. automatic delegates, uh -huh. and uh, because of some office they, they held. Uh -huh. uh, we did all that, and then some years after that, when I was no longer the chairman, they changed that rule and provided for uh, some superdelegates. Uh, one category is the former chairs of the Democratic National Committee. Oh. So I, I'm against the idea of superdelegates, but since 1984, I have been one. Uh -huh. Wow. So what are some of the um, other conventions that you've attended then? I, I think I've attended all but two, apparently, uh, since 1964. 64 wow. is my first one. Uh -huh. I, I was the Democratic nominee for the Senate from Oklahoma, uh -huh. and I went as a delegate to Atlantic City. Uh -huh. uh, Lyndon Johnson had succeeded to the presidency after the death of uh, the assassination of uh, President Kennedy. And so we, re we nominated uh, Johnson for president and uh, Hubert Humphrey uh, for vice president. That was my first convention. The uh, worst convention I ever went to was uh, in 1968 uh -huh. in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Uh, terrible demonstrations, overreaction uh -huh. by the uh -huh. police. Uh, yeah. One citizen's commission called it a... Uh, a, a police riot, mm -hmm. uh, just an awful thing. Mm -hmm. Robert Kennedy had been killed. Martin mm -hmm. Luther King had been killed. What an awful year mm -hmm. uh, that was. Hubert Humphrey was uh, nominated, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 finally, uh, we had two or three chances to do this, came out against the Vietnam War, and uh, almost pulled the thing off. But uh, finally, at the last, Nixon uh, won for president. But 68 was about, I guess, the worst convention. I've been okay, wow. Um, so, uh, well, we're going to be up in Denver, and we would love to be able to have a little bit of your time up there, too, to check in with you now and then to um, see how, how you're interpreting things that are, that are going on. I'm really looking forward to it. I think that this is going to be a wonderful convention. And yeah. for us here in New Mexico, of course, it's great to have it close by in Denver. Uh -huh. I hope that it is true that uh, Hillary Clinton will be the keynote speaker. I think that would be a wonderful oh. thing. Uh, she's obviously going to be a great leader in this party and in the country from now on. And, uh, and, and then we've got that great outdoor uh, arena where Barack Obama will accept the nominations. I, I think it's going to be a really thrilling time. Yeah. Great. Fred, thank you very much.